So let's talk about water and fuel storage. When it comes to water and fuel, these are the two biggest factors that are gonna allow you to stay out longer or go further. If you don't have enough fuel, you're not gonna go very far. If you don't have enough water, you can't stay out very long. And depending on your group dynamics and your factors on your team, that can change. So you may be finding yourself needing to carry more fuel and more water, more than likely right away. In our experience at Expedition Overland, we have run out of fuel several times as we've crossed the McKinsey the first time we ran out of gas or hit our range limits. The second time we did the McKinsey, we miscalculated fuel and had to use all of our reserves to go get more. Uh, when we crossed the Altar Desert in Mexico in the Great Pursuit, we used all of our water and all of our fuel to the max as we crossed that big landscape of dunes. The easiest solution for fuel right now is the jerry can. And that's kind of the go-to method. CBI and other companies build carriers that allow you to carry extra jerry cans on the back, which is where fuel should be carried. If at all possible, it should never be carried inside of a vehicle, it should be on the outside. And try to keep water and fuel off of a roof rack just because we want to keep all of the weight as low as possible to maintain the center of gravity on our vehicles. So it kind of ends up being on the back or in the back of the pickup or the bed or something like that outside of the occupants. And jerrys are typically the main way that we do that. The other way is through uh, roto packs. Uh, roto packs are a plastic uh, version. They have mounting hardware that you can attach in different places. They could be a good solution for you as well. Another option is uh, bladders. And the, the first one that comes to mind is the MSR drum dairy bag, a really tough material that allows you to fill up water. The beauty of bladders is that when you're done with them, they roll up and they go away. You're not stuck with a fixed size of something that you have to always pack and work around. You could carry extra water in those, and then as they deplete, they just go away and then use your jerry cans, etc. Beyond these two resources, you're looking at tanks. And getting into tanks there, uh, Front Runner makes a good water tank that goes behind the seat that you may be interested in. And there's other options that you can start mounting tanks underneath of a vehicle that you may have to install a pump to get the access to the water. So the last little bit of recommendation I can give you is learn to calculate what you need. How far are you going? How much diesel fuel do you need? How much extra do you need to carry? And how are you gonna carry that? With water, how many people do you have? How many days will you be gone? And how many gallons per person per day will you require? And then you work backwards and find your water solutions. Just make sure that you store them and load and lash them in a safe place, typically on the outside of a vehicle, and try to eliminate putting it on the roof.